Be grateful. Pay it forward. Be kind. Give to charity. Those are New Year's resolutions. That's it? Too- you got Patrick Mahomes. Like, I mean, okay, address your defense. Your defense stinks all the time, perpetually. But, like, when you get Patrick Mahomes, it feels to me like you've won the lottery. And you need to be kind and grateful and give to charity and uh, <laughs> appreciate that the football gods. There are some teams that I have on here that should pray to the football gods more consistently. But Andy Reid has been doing it quite right so far. Yeah. I, I, the defense issues, I don't think... I don't know what it is about this, but I just remember all the times and like the 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 um, the Colts come to mind. What happens to your defense when your quarterback is great? It just always goes wrong somewhere along the line. I'm not sure what what it is. I guess the Eagles could be a team this year that like pushes back against that. But when you have a truly great all time great quarterback who perpetually has your offense in the in the highest levels your defense continues to suck no matter how many resources you throw at it well that's the thing right no most people would say well if you have a good quarterback and making a lot of money you have less money to spend on the defense but the chiefs uh, chiefs did really invest in their defense um in the draft this year i I actually well so coming out to cicm i thought the dbs actually played really well but the seahawks you know, we're down Tyler Lockett and the offense couldn't really get anything going. My, my, I just have a simple one to me for the Super Bowl and the playoff run. Somebody other than Chris Jones has to get to the quarterback on this team. It can be Frank Clark, it can be Carlos Dunlap, it can be Car- George Karlaftis who made a couple plays. But the pass rush outside of Chris Jones just, it, it's like this has continued, this has been a problem now for years with the Chiefs. Um, and yeah, like when you look ahead to the other powerhouses in the AFC, it's going to continue to be a problem unless someone steps up. So. Yeah, I mean, in the long term future, though, I do think they need to address the Tyree Kill size hole in their yeah. offense. Um, I don't know if Kadarius Tony is going to turn into that player, but as impressive and efficient as their offense has been, I still believe that you're asking a lot of Patrick Mahomes, which is fine. He can do it. But it's real nice to ha- to take some series off if you are Patrick Mahomes and and throw a f- I don't know and have Tyree Kill streaking across the field yeah. or throw a five yard route that turns to a fifty yard touchdown like we see Jalen Waddle and Tyree Kill do routinely in Miami. So that is the one issue on the offense that I think they need to find a way to address. It doesn't seem like Sky Moore is going to be that player. Maybe it's Tony, but Keep drafting, keep signing, figure out how you can get that threat back on your team. Do you think that the, I think they took Sky Moore over Christian Watson. Maybe not, I have to check that. But like, you know, he would be so good on oh. this team. And, and it is kind of like they went into this offseason, you know, we were like, oh, okay, the, the identity of this deep offense is going to be different. They want to be able to work underneath. They have like shiftier guys, stronger guys. But it does feel like, with you know and they obviously they signed mvs but it does feel like a a true reliable downfield threat is you know so needed to maximize what patrick mahomes gives you as a quarterback 